My name is Andy, and thanks for watching the ESA. Uh, uh, when I'm eight, uh, 18 years old, I, uh, I saw, uh, saw some Ned Dickens books. So today is a, uh, this month is a, uh, it's a busy month because Autism Awareness Month, so, uh, uh, so you'll be expecting a lot of Ned, uh, Ned Dickens uh, so, uh, selling le uh, weekends this month. Andy, my son, has autism, as well as a history of a little bit of muscle tone, low muscle tone. When he was about eight years old, he started to pick up a pencil willingly and uh, started experimenting with uh, scribbling and drawing uh, little pictures. And after a few years, I think of us just uh, basically encouraging it by, by giving him space and the time to draw, he started to do comic strips and that turned into longer stories and until one day he said he had finished a, a, a book and he wanted us to publish uh, it. Uh, uh, all right, uh, here's the story about uh, how, uh, how Ned Dickens started. Thank you, Andy. Uh, I, uh, I got it from my br uh, brother Adam. Uh, uh, one day Adam and I were, uh, at, uh, one day Adam and I, uh, uh, thought out of, uh, of uh, how my, uh, uh, what my name would sound like, sound like the initials N.D., uh, hence the name uh, Ned Dickens. Uh, Adam gave me uh, a few ideas of what Ned Dickens uh, can uh, do. You know, uh, you know the boots sma uh, smashing, the, uh, uh, the super boots, uh, uh, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it first started out, out as a uh, comic strip, but then I decided to I was, uh, uh, but then I decided to uh, do, uh, do a children's uh, and novel. It was only just for it was only just for, uh, uh, it was only just for a fun thing. I wasn't planning on publishing it, yet, yet, and uh, and I lost interest when I was in the uh, middle of chapter six. So, uh, I, was, uh, I gave uh, I gave up for uh, uh, I took a uh, I took a bre uh, break from uh, the uh, Ned Dickens thing for uh, for about uh, uh, a year. Eric, uh, uh, just do, uh, doing drawing for fun and not for publishing, until the uh, until the art for, uh, uh, until the art for grabs came out and Mom was interested in uh, getting my book published. The uh, the problem was as uh, oh, as I uh, I was still on chapter six, and uh, I was gonna have to, uh, and it was gonna be much longer like uh, twenty chapters. It wasn't uh, the book wasn't complete yet. But then I did, uh, but then later on I decided, uh, decided to just uh, finish up the chapter six, uh, uh, publish uh, the story so far as uh, uh, as par uh, book one, part one. That's why it's uh, been to uh, part one, two, and three, and then the full version. I uh, I've just finished uh, uh, the, uh, I just finished part one of book two, uh, and I, uh, and now I'm working on uh, part two of uh, book two. In this uh, uh, in this uh, book, uh, the, uh, book one, Ned, uh, Ned Dickens uh, is trying to uh, 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 Ned Dickens is trying to uh, get enough uh, money for her uh, game membership. Uh, uh, but uh, but he has to ba uh, battle through uh, some uh, harsh punishments from his dad, and, uh, uh, and some uh, mischievous pranks from on the neighborhood bully. At book two. Oh, oh, uh, Ned uh, Dickens. Uh, 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 Ned Dickens uses his uh, uh, time traveling device uh, called a time um, teleporter. He uh, uses as it to uh, 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 travel through all uh, time, and uh, usually the pa uh, past. But he ex uh, accidentally ended up in the future, uh, uh, and he had to save the future uh, with uh, with, uh, uh, with the help of uh, two cool, uh, cool dudes. Well, other than uh, well, other than uh, drawing my Agnes Dickens, also uh, I also read some books that uh, help me uh, with, uh, that help me with the inspiration for my Agnes Dickens books. As I, I also uh, I also play on the uh, I also play on the computer. Uh, uh, I, I use the computer to play games and and uh, and edit and uh, remix some music.
I would advise parents to honour what the child's interests and talents are and help, them, help guide them in their interests rather than what we want for them. Follow their interests and um, most of the time, you know, give them the tools they need for it and I would say stay out of the way. Don't be overly involved because you might stifle some of the, the authentic creativity that they have. Um, which is something we're trying not to do. We're not trying not to impose our, um, our sense of what is nice or something on him. I um, mean, it looks like what he does, it does appeal to a lot of people. And it's probably better because we did not get so involved in, in its creating. Currently, uh, you can buy it by sending us a Facebook message at his Facebook page called Net Dickens. Okay. Also, for people who prefer to buy it over the counter, uh, the books are available at Roboticists, um, which is a robotics class at Bangsa Village 2. Uh, that's where his uh, books are available now.